Kibcob Wilbe would marry him will soon face his first great step on the road to priesthood. He hopes to take part in the most important ceremony of the Ethiopian Orthodox Church, Timcat, the Feast of the Epiphany, celebrating the baptism of Christ. Although Epiphany is celebrated throughout the Christian world, the Ethiopian Timcat ceremony is different. It features sacred replicas of the Ark of the Covenant. To be allowed to take part, Kibkab must convince the senior priests of his church that he has total commitment to his calling. Complete faith. For six years, Kibkab has not been ready to take part in Timcat. If the elders question his faith now, it may be many years before he'll be considered again. And this is not the only pressure on Kibkab. He's got a family tradition to live up to. I'm one of three brothers. The other two have finished their religious education. They are already working in the church. I'm the youngest, but I want to achieve the same as them. Kibkab practices a form of Christianity that is both ancient and unique to Ethiopia. His life revolves around worship and study at a church school in Alibella. His teacher, his own father, will be one of those who have the final say as to whether he's ready to take part in the Timcat festival. There's little formal structure to Kib Cobb's education. There's no end of year exam and study is constant. Learning the scriptures by heart is in itself a monumental task. But Kibkab has to learn them in Giez, which died out as an everyday language around a thousand years ago. Kibkab lives with 10 other students. They earn their meals the traditional way, by begging for food. Enduring physical hardship is seen as a necessary step in Kibkab's spiritual development. So is learning to accept charity, especially from villagers who often have little food to spare. Fortunately, the people around Lalibela are devout Christians who will give whatever they can in exchange for a blessing. There are few sites more impressive than the city of Lalibela. Kibkab's church is one of 11 churches, each cut straight into the volcanic rock. They were built by the 12th century king, Lalibela, who had a vision of the holy city of Jerusalem. Kibkab's long months of prayer and study have been rewarded. He's been chosen to be a part of the Timcat ceremony. It is an auspicious landmark in his spiritual development. But it is also a deeply private moment, a moment of personal revelation. Christians from all over Ethiopia come to the ancient city of Lalibela for the festival of Timcat, hoping for a glimpse of the replicas of the Ark of the Covenant, known as Tabits. To come close to the Tabit is to come close to the Word of God itself. The Tabits of the 11 churches of Lalibela emerge, carried on the heads of the most senior priests. They are considered so sacred that no one is ever permitted to gaze upon them and must remain completely covered. From the labyrinths, they form a procession and make their way to the baptism pool. Scenes like this were described in the Bible when the Israelites welcomed Moses' return from Mount Sinai with the Ten Commandments. Celebrating the baptism of Christ, the faithful are themselves blessed by the holy water of Lalibela. Keep
Cobb has taken his first step on a great spiritual journey.